everybody welcome to the next Wargamers Whistle Stop and this time we're going to be talking about the letter D uh, and there were lots of choices uh, from the Dardanelle, Dunkirk, the Battle of uh, Dunbar, the MBMPU, uh, Dettingen or Dettingen um, and of course D-Day itself uh, but I'm actually going to be talking about something that's been covered uh, recently uh, on a number of videos and that is the Battle of Denmark Strait. Uh, but before I do that I'd like to make a couple of honourable mentions, um, one relating to D-Day itself and uh, one completely unrelated uh, and in fact um, not a real battle at all but something that I feel is worth highlighting. Uh, I've enjoyed reading and uh, I think it's something everyone interested in military history should certainly glance their eyes over. So without further ado, let's have a look at those first and then we'll move on to um, ideas and some of the things I've come across when researching or playing the Battle of the Denmark Strait. So firstly, uh, related to D-Day, obviously D-Day, Operation Overlord, um, has many many books, many many games, many many videos, films etc been made or written about it um, but a particular book that I came across very recently um, was D-Day The Soldier's Story by Giles Milton um, and my kids uh, bought this for me for Christmas uh, having heard about it on a podcast um, I think it was Dan Snow's History Hit podcast uh, where he interviewed Giles and uh, Giles had been round and interviewed uh, lots of the survivors from the operation and recorded their stories uh, in this book. And this book is excellent uh, and I think offers a real insight into um, the personal stories of the people who were there. Um, whilst it takes you through the story of the day itself, um, the different parts uh, of the puzzle that all came together and became that operation. Um, so I just wanted to highlight that as a must read for anyone with any interest um, in the DA landings in 1944. The, the second uh, recommendation I wanted to made uh, as, a, as an honourable mention is a famous but old publication, The Defence of Duffer's Drift um, by E.D. Swinton. Uh, this is a classic and uh, although out of print, I'm sure you'll be able to pick a copy up uh, quite reasonably, reasonable these days. Um, it's I picked up this little hardback copy uh, at a bring and buy sale at one of the war game shows and I paid the heavy sum of one British pound for the privilege of what I think is a cracking little read. And basically it's a hypothetical scenario um, of, a, of a soldier um, involved in the Boer War um, and the defence uh, of, a, of a river crossing in South Africa, a um, small number of troops and what it does is it goes through, in effect, um, it words it as dreams, but five or six uh, alternate scenarios at this same location with the same um, st strategic setup. Uh, and each time um, he learns from the previous um, scenario, um, sets up slightly differently, trying to counter what the enemy do. And um, each time he he learns from his mistakes and his troops learn from their mistakes. And so you have this these sort of five, six scenarios progressively taking you through the book. Um, and it, it, it's a fascinating read. And I think anyone who's interested in, in tactics, uh, str strategy, the colonial period, um, this this I think is, is a really clever read. It's not real, it's not true, um, but a lot of the tactical nuances detailed in here, the decision making, 
can apply in real life and on the war games table. So highly recommend the defense of Duffer's Drift. Okay, so to the main event, uh, the Battle of Denmark Strait. And as usual, what I want to do is give you a very short, sharp, uh, quick download of some of the areas that I have gone to to play, conduct my research, read um, or watch uh, things related to this famous naval battle. So something a little bit different. Uh, let's start with books. And for me, um, two that I have on my bookshelf that I that I would point out. The first one is The Bismarck Chase by Robert uh, Winkworth, I think it is. Oh, Winkworth. Um, Bismarck Chase, for me, encaptures everything to do uh, with the battle. Uh, takes you right through some great maps, some great illustrations, photographs. Um, a cracking little read, so highly recommend that book. Alongside uh, a quite an old book now that uh, I believe a TV documentary was also made on the discovery of the Bismarck uh, by Dr. Robert Ballard, and he produced a hardback book which is excellent. Uh, it has a pull out uh, plan of the ship, the Bismarck itself. Um, but what it also does is covers the whole, uh, the whole theatre, the whole battle, step by step, uh, interspersed with uh, the dives um, via the submarine that he conducted in the area to find the wreck of the Bismarck. Um, so it's a cracking read, a cracking book, because it covers the history. Again, provides some excellent uh, illustrations and photographs whilst also coming back towards the modern day when they discovered uh, the wreck of the Bismarck and some, some stunning photography uh, of, of the wreck itself. So in terms of the battle, two, I feel, really good reads there to have a look at. OK, um, in terms of websites, a uh, couple I've used as good start points um, in, in terms of finding out a little bit more about the, the action. So kbismarck.com and the hmshood.com are both really good starting points to give uh, a newbie a flavour of the battle and also um, someone who's read uh, quite a bit, a little bit more information on some of the intricacies of the battle itself. In terms of YouTube, um, Baz Battles um, covers, the, covers the battle. Um, I like Baz Battles, I watch a lot of theirs. Uh, their animated uh, series. Uh, Operation Reinenbung, um, the first and last voyage of the Bismarck, is a really good um, video. It, it sort of shows a lot of um, historic photography and camera footage of the time. Um, so those two are really good. Uh, as is Mark's Game Room. Uh, which was linked to a Little Wars TV video posted not so long ago um, where he talked about uh, a free rule set which we'll come on to in a moment uh, which is available for downloading from the Little Wars TV site um, his own um, Battle of Denmark Strait video uh, with a couple of opponents showing you his naval rules and the ships so I think again uh, between those three videos you will pick up um, lots of ideas and uh, it will certainly get the juices flowing in terms of if you want to go and game this, this theatre of operations. In terms of uh, board games, um, I cannot confess to having played um, specifically board games related to the Battle of Denmark Strait, but having done a bit of research um, one that, that specifically covers that and the Battle of River Plate at the same time is uh, that of Decision Games. And also um, a recent um, release was GMT's Atlantic Chase, which I know uh, one of the scenarios does cover uh, the hunt for the Bismarck and the Battle of Denmark Strait. And uh, feedback um, I, and reviews I've seen on Atlantic Chase are very favourable. So. If, if it's something you would prefer to board game uh, rather than board ga uh, war game, 
then um, Atlantic Chase could well be worth a look uh, from that perspective. Finally, uh, wargaming and talking about um, scales of ships. Um, there are various scales available. Um, I'm currently uh, painting some one to four hundred scale um, ships. So um, we've got uh, the Bismarck here. Um, again, I'll just show that up to the camera. Hopefully, you can uh, get a feel that that's not finished, but it's in progress at the moment. So I've got um, four ships. You, the Ugen, um, Prince Ugen, uh, Bismarck, uh, Hood, and um, King George the Fifth. Um, currently on the on the painting table at, at the moment, um, and this was linked to the free set of rules uh, from Neil Wars TV. Uh, from Mark's Game Room, uh, link to the Battle of Denmark Strait, you can download those on PDF, you get uh, the rules, you can even download the cardboard counters if you wish for the ships, um, a great offering, uh, and, and actually I really like the rules, they're very simple, um, so this is a low, low setup cost uh, opportunity to get into this period and have a look at it um, from, from that point of view. Um, historically, I have played naval battles of this period using general quarters, um, which was actually a cracking set of rules, been out for many, many years, um, and we used them for First and Second World War naval games. Uh, historically, I still have those rules. Um, so I think those or, or the, uh, the set for Mark's Game Room would be a good starting point, again, if you want to play some, some war games. Um, but um, ship manufacturers, figure manufacturers, uh, there are various ones out there. Um, I've got no particular um, specific manufacturer in mind. I hunted around and found someone who 3D printed uh, models for me. There's quite a few of those now out there, 3D printing uh, of ship models. And again, if you look on eBay, uh, you will find quite a few listed under there as well. Um, so uh, I think it's a case of going out and exploring uh, what one what scale you want in terms of how big you want your ships to be and, and then finding the various uh, manufacturers from there. Um, finally, I would just like to mention a very famous film, an old film, which starred Kenneth Moore, uh, Sink the Bismarck. Um, for its day and an excellent film but I think again just to give you that flavour in a film sense of the battle um, that would be a good start point and, and maybe it will just open the door to you if I'm wanting to go and find out a little bit more about the Battle of Denmark Strait. So uh, that's my whistle stop uh, tour uh, for this time covering the letter D. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's giving you some ideas um, to go out and find a little bit more and look forward to bringing you another video very, very, very soon.